The variety of species on Earth is just one criterion of biodiversity. It's estimated that some 1.8 million species have been scientifically identified and classified. But many are still unknown, because scientists can't easily enter their habitats. When they are able to, as with a recent large-scale research project in the deep sea, they always discover new species. Each living creature is unique. It's the genetic diversity within a species that makes it resilient, which is why genetic variety is also a pillar of biodiversity, as is the diversity of ecosystems. They fulfill the most complex tasks, providing, for instance, fresh air and clean water. But many ecosystems are under acute threat. Mangrove swamps, for instance, which protect coastlines and provide breeding grounds for fish. The destruction of these ecosystems has dramatic consequences for biodiversity. At least 30% of all currently living species could be extinct by the middle of the next century. Some scientists say it could even be 50%. There have been several mass extinctions over the course of evolution, but this time it's being caused by humans through the clear cutting of rainforests or the destruction of soils by industrial agriculture. For the purposes of protecting species variety, 34 regions have been named as biodiversity hotspots. Most are located along the equator, for instance in and around Madagascar. The country has many species of plants and animals not found anywhere else in the world. That includes dozens of species of lemur and more than 11,000 kinds of plants. It's especially important to preserve this diversity during these times of climate change. That's the only way the species will be able to adapt to the changing environmental conditions.